This is Outside Woman Blues from Cream, of course, another classic from them. And uh, I'm just covering the main guitar part here, the song, essentially. If I do the solo, which uh, I'm not too sure about at this point, but if I do it, it'll definitely be in a separate video. So this is a great post-intermediate or uh, intermediate tune to play. It's got one chord shape, a classic 7-sharp 9, which I'll go over and uh, a couple of hammer-on riffs and then a blues lick in the middle. But I'll also cover the arrangement of the song because it's a little bit unusual. It's not a one, four, five blues. It's just a one and a five with a couple of blues phrases thrown in. And I'll talk about the harmony guitar that Eric adds, how he played it live versus the studio, and then how to kind of put uh, some of those pieces of the puzzle together. So let's dive into the main riff, okay? Uh, we have an E7 sharp nine chord, which you can see on the screen. <laughs> classic Jimi Hendrix chord. And what we're doing with this is we're hitting the sixth string, the open E string twice. And you don't want that to bleed through to the chord, but then sweep down and hit the chord all the way down to the B string. So you get this very staccato, although you'll hear a little bit of sliding, maybe slipping down to the notes here. Now there's a couple of ways you can play this. Uh, I'm playing it the way Clapton plays it, the way I've seen him play it in uh, a few live uh, performances that I've watched. You could also play it to keep it all close to the chord, but it doesn't quite sound the same and it doesn't quite sound like him, so I've tabbed it out the way he plays it. So again, we've got the two strokes on the uh, E string, very staccato on the chord. And then we've got a hammer on on the uh, A string from two to four. Then fret the second fret on the D string. And then open A string, hammer to two. And then open D string. So you have this very cool. Now you're going to play that four times out the gate as an intro. Then you're going to play it twice when Eric sings, okay, and it's played the exact same way. So in other words, you're playing it twice in a row for the verse before we jump off and play. So we've got... You can see on the tab that's pretty easy to play. And then you want to come back and do that again, okay? But what's important about this is when you come off of the riff, you'll hear him play that. So what he's doing is he's playing the second hammer on this one right here. So putting that all together, it sounds like this. there is instead of doing that hammer on before we go to this chord right here the B7 sharp 9 exact same shape just down at the second fret what happens is he does a little walk up open A string to the first fret so you come off of this lick and then form the chord and we have four times. So it's just like the E7 sharp nine, but we're bouncing off of the A string, the root of the chord. Four times. And that's the funny part because that's going to uh, vary as we get into the song. So once again, you come off of the lick. So 
So you can see that I just repeated everything, right? But the second time through, instead of playing the B7 sharp nine four times, they play it six times. <laughs> and a little bit different for blues, but that is what they do. And then you roll through the whole thing again, but something else happens again once you get to that B7 sharp nine. So what they've done right there is they've kind of spun it back around where they're just playing it on the downbeat. Instead of with those eighth notes, it's just quarter notes strictly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm not kidding, it's seven times, okay? And then you come back and play the riff again. And then the guitar solo comes in and they use that main riff, the same thing that they've been using for the verses for the guitar solo but they come out of the solo a little bit differently. You play that twice, and they're gonna stop on the B7 sharp nine, and I'll show you exactly how they do that. So this would be underneath the solo. stop. So you get to that B7 sharp 9, you're doing the uh, eighth note pattern again, and stop right on the downbeat. Now what's interesting at the end of the solo is Eric adds in a harmony guitar. You go back to the lick, but along with that you'll hear And they sound kind of cool together. So the first thing I want to say before I show you how to actually play both of those parts together is live a lot of the time, Eric used to play it like this. And you can see on the tab what I'm doing right there. So that's kind of cool. It sounds pretty nice. And that's a good way to cover the little harmony bit, but if you want it to sound just like the recording or close to the recording, two guitars is the best way to go. So if you've got two guitar players doing it, it's nice. One guy can just play the... And then the second one would be... Now, if you want to put them together, you can play them as double stops. So I've got that tabbed out for you, but I'll play it nice and slow so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And so he continues those harmonies for the uh, last couple of go-arounds of the song before they get to the B7 sharp 9 again. And the B7 sharp 9 is treated like it was before where I spoke about him doing it just on the quarter notes, the downbeats, all right? And they end it on an E chord, right? And it's seven of those again, <laughs> seven strokes on the B7 sharp nine, which is a slightly unusual and very cool. So let me play that whole bit for you as well. <laughs> And 
and that just ended on an E chord, and then of course Eric sings. <laughs> So there you go with Outside Woman Blue is a very easy tune to play and like I said a great post beginner and intermediate thing. It's got a nice groove to it. They used to uh, lay it back a little bit more when they played it live. I'm at the tempo pretty much of the studio recording but they kind of used to lay it back. I've heard several live recordings that have more of a little bit of a slinkier feel. <laughs> So they kind of just sort of evolved, I guess, into playing it that way live. So there you go with Outside Woman Blues. Uh, again, pretty easy one to play. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you real soon.